Hello everybody, I am Dr. Brajesh, working as a consultant at Solochana Polyclinic and Baby Care Center situated at Tilka Manji Bhagalpur. Today, I will be discussing regarding Ambu Bag. The full form of Ambu Bag is Ambulatory Manual Breathing Unit. It's also called as Self-Inflating Bag. The word self-inflating bag comes here, there must be some other bag which should be called as non-self-inflating bag. What is the example of it? The example of non-self-inflating bag is Anastasia bag. You must have seen it in the OT theatres, green color bag, which needs continuous flow of oxygen so that it can pass on the oxygen to the baby. Whereas in Ambu bag, we need to press the Ambu bag for the release of oxygen to the baby. Coming to the parts of Ambu bag, I would start with the Ambu bag first. This is the body of Ambu bag. This is the face mask of Ambu bag. This is the oxygen pipe and this is the reservoir. Especially in neonates, we use 250 ml. Coming to the parts of Ambu bag, here are the parts. This is the unit which is called as Ambu bag. This is the face mask, this is the oxygen pipe, and this is the reservoir. How do we come to know whether the Ambu bag is working properly or not we need to press it on palm and feel the pressure when we squeeze the ambu bag this is the way so i can feel the pressure being transmitted to the palm of mine and at the same time there is release of this pop-up valve this is the pop-up valve this is the pop-up valve and this is the face mask face mask what we get is of two types one is circular one which can be cushioned or uncushioned the other one is triangular one which we are seeing here which is also called as anatomical face mask and here is the wall assembly here is the valve assembly. This one is called as pop-up valve. This is the body proper and the body varies from 250 ml to 750 ml in children and especially 250 ml is used in neonates. This is the inlet part. In the inlet part this what we are seeing is used for connecting oxygen pipe in this is the oxygen pipe which can be connected to the main oxygen source this is the reservoir which can be connected this way reservoir can be of two types one is corrugated and the other one is non corrugated the advantage of corrugated Reservoir is that it increases the body surface area. This part, what we are seeing here, is called as outlet. This outlet contains a valve inside, which is also called as fish mouth valve. We can check how does it work. Once we press, the valve opens. You can see that the valve is being opened here. This is fish mouth valve. What is the advantage of fish mouth valve? It allows unidirectional directional flow of oxygen through it. And this proper part is called as valve assembly. And the valve which we are seeing here is called as expiratory valve. This part is expiratory valve which can be detached from it. 
this part is expiratory valve so this expiratory valve helps in the exhaled air to come out from the baby's mouth and nose the face mask what we use in neonates is of two types one is for preterm babies the other one is for term babies how do we come to know the ideal size of face mask the face mask should cover tip of the nose angle of the mouth and it should not go beyond the chin of face of newborn and we should also make sure that the face mask does not press on the eyes of the newborn and what we are seeing here is the cushioned face mask what is the advantage of cushioned face mask with the cushioned face mask once we apply little bit of pressure there are very less chances of escape of air through it so whenever we are pressing the ambu bag the chances of air escaping through the cushioned mask is very less the other advantage of cushioned face mask is that trauma to the baby chances are also very less and this part is the pop up valve this pop up valve is set at a pressure of 30 to 40 cm of h2 <coughs> how do we know whether it is working properly or not as i had demonstrated earlier connect the face mask put it on your palm and press it see here the pop up valve is being released so once we are applying more than 40 cm of h2 of pressure the valve comes out and releases the <coughs> pressure so this mechanism helps in the newborn that the baby does not develop pneumothorax there are very less chances of barotrauma to the newborn and this part is the body proper it is specially used in neonatal resuscitation where babies are apneic they are cyanosed there is no spontaneous respiratory effort or heart rate is less than 100 beats per minute is used in giving intermittent positive pressure ventilation i repeat it intermittent positive pressure ventilation so suppose if i want to resuscitate the child with only this part can we resuscitate the newborn definitely we can the latest recommendation says that without oxygen inlet being connected without reservoir being connected a newborn can be resuscitated with room air also so what is the percentage of oxygen in the room air it is 21 percentage so once we connect the oxygen pipe the oxygen concentration raises to 40 percent so once we connect the reservoir to the ambu bag the oxygen concentration or fio2 can increase as high as 90 to 100 percent suppose if a baby is being resuscitated with room air and there is no improvement in the baby for 90 seconds then the guideline says that we should connect oxygen and reservoir to have a better effect so what are the contraindications where we cannot use bag and mask in a newborn the contraindication is congenital diaphragmatic hernia which is also considered as absolute contraindication here ambu bag usage should be avoided and the other relative contraindication is tracheoesophageal 
is fissural fistula. I repeat it, tracheoesophageal fistula. This is a relative contraindication. And how do we use it? We stand at the end of the head of the baby. We stand at the end of the head end of the baby. Or we can also stand either on the right side or left side of the baby. The face <coughs> mask is hold in a C-shaped manner. So hold in a C-shaped manner with the index finger and thumb. The little finger is used in applying pressure over the cricoid cartilage. Applying pressure over the cricoid cartilage. So it works as a E pattern. So you can see it works as a E pattern here. So how do we come to know that we are giving adequate pressure to the newborn? There will be adequate chest rise and the color of the baby changes from cyanotic to pink color. How long it should be used? It should be used continuously for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, we should assess the baby. We should assess the heart rate. We should see the color of the baby. We should see whether the tone of the child has improved or not or spontaneous respiratory effort is seen or not. So how do we do it? Or how many times in a minute we press this dragon mask? We press around 40 to 60 times per minute. And how do we do it? We can shout, squeeze, one, two, three. Squeeze, one, two, three. Make sure that you do not press the back with your entire palm of your hands. This is wrong. This mechanism is wrong. Once you do it, you give lot of pressure and this pressure can lead to barotrauma so make sure that you hold the bag with thumb and your fingers tip of your fingers thumb and tip of your fingers so old school teaching was there so how long shall we give ambu bag to the newborn babies who are suffering from apnea or there is no spontaneous respiration. We should give it for 30 seconds. Still, if there is no improvement, if the heart rate is less than 100 beats per minute, we will continue giving bag and mask to the newborn child. And we make sure that the positioning is proper, there is no secretion inside the oral cavity of the newborn and the neck of the baby is not flexed or it is not hyper extended. The ideal position is sniffing position, it's called as sniffing position. And a shoulder roll should be kept, which should be around one third of an inch. So, now we, I don't want to stretch it very long, in short, I would like to say that this is the most important instrument which should be present in all the delivery rooms and the staff should be trained properly for the usage of this self-inflating bag so that the babies can be resuscitated at the golden one minute. With this, I end this video. Thanks a lot.